In this problem, I'll start by getting the equation in the right form. The right form is this. It's y prime plus p of x times y is equal to q of x. So y prime has to be by itself. In the original equation, we have x times y prime minus y is equal to x squared sine of x. So I can get y prime by itself by dividing all the terms by x. Our new equation will be y prime minus 1 over x times y is equal to x times sine of x. So our new p of x term is going to be negative 1 over x. So mu is equal to e to the integral of p of x dx. So that's going to be equal to e to the power of negative 1 over x dx, which will be negative ln x and to the exponential. That negative can jump to the exponent for the x, so it'll be e to the ln of x to the negative 1. The e and the ln will cancel, so mu will be equal to x to the negative 1, which is 1 over x. Now we can multiply mu to all the terms in this equation here. It'll be y prime times 1 over x minus 1 over x squared times y will be equal to just sine of x. Now on the left side, that's just the power rule of mu times y when you take its derivative, and that'll be equal to sine of x. Now mu we said was 1 over x. It's going to be multiplied by y. And we'll take its derivative. That'll be equal to sine of x. Now we can take the integral of both sides. On the left, the integral will cancel with the derivative. We'll have 1 over x times y. That'll be equal to. And the integral of sine x is negative cosine of x plus c. Now we multiply that x to both those terms on the right side. And y will be equal to negative x cosine x plus c times x. And that is your final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.